got to crack a few skulls if you want to be top dog. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't. I would greatly appreciate a coin or two. To oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Fewer monsters are to be found on the main road, though carts travel only by the sun's light. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? I, I have a rough idea of where our destination lies. Uh, shall I show you there, Master? You have our gratitude. Lead the way. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent, and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is... more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Is... is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Making our report ought to be our next priority. My head hurts just Just where are these vaults exactly? Let Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I don't know what to do. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look, there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. worthless, but that's as much as I can say for it. Rarely have I felt so empty. Ugh. 
I pose we scour this place anew. Who knows what we might find? Indeed. Let us know if we can be of assistance, Arisen. Profitable endeavor. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick? You'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. True enough. How are we to get through this door? More of the same, it seems. Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It's quite the collection of tomes. I'm sure I'd be seeing stars, were I the scholarly sort. True enough. The books ne'er seem to end. Who could have brought them here, I wonder? The books ne'er seem to end. Who could have brought them here, I wonder? This place is amazing. I knew I'd find something down here, but I never expected this. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. 
Keep your eyes peeled. Really now, you mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that, thank you. Charge ahead may be to rush headlong into danger. Let us take care to move as one. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Here! An enchantment of cold to freeze our foes! I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Oh, very well. Back to your side I go.
my head hurts just thinking about it. My head hurts just thinking about it. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though tis sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. Right you are. My thoughts down dark paths, this place. I'm dead on my feet after today's time. So tired. I barely the vim to tie my boots. Good place. The hours seem to fly. Oh, There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Still waiting on the uh, Do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the arisen. Well, have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Come along.
I... this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. We have a key, do we not? Mayhap we'll open the way. Let us see if it fits. Mayhap I ought to earn my coin some other way. I can't count the number of meats and fish that have gone to rot in my pack. You'd think the smell would remind me. I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. Is there nothing we can do about this obstacle? If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? You've pushed your luck too far! Now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this.
Why is it that the doors one most wishes to open are always locked? We must needs find the key. What else was I supposed to be doing today? predicament. This inspires naught but misgivings. Well met! You are come to Shakir's Inn. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Much obliged. Well met, sir. One last push. If I sleep on my word, loud. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you.
Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Always a pleasure. Look as long as you can. This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, excellent find. Nautilin Port ever happens here, anyhow. There's no easy thing. After the price and lots to be I'll taken to care of, I'll need to explain the price of myself to a tipple of four beds. The rules I at your choice. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? You do not possess it. I see. I had hoped you would return it to me ere long. If you've deposited it somewhere, might I trouble you to retrieve it and bring it back to me? Else if you've lost it, mayhap it's been put up for sale at the scrap store. Tis a curious shop where all manner of useless trinkets may be found. The townspeople sell all they find there. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry.
map I ought to ask around town. Can I help you see a turncoat in every uh, nice place for a picnic? I have a terrible itch. <laughs> Such oh, quietude is a blessing. Haste makes waste, as they say. You ought to look for Such quiet. What's got you in such a good mood? Do tell. I swear I've not blinked once in the last hour. <sighs> It's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Hi. How do you do? How do I wind up here, anyhow? Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know tis perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, Maya's might can be harvested from phantoms, monsters that wander the world at night. At last, it all becomes clear. This looks as good a place as any. What did I do to deserve this? I try to enjoy life where and when I can. Some call it
I'm not leaving till you take it. So there. Here you are, sir. Make myself but a moment's rest. There's no time up more than a saucy rumor. I'm dead on my street. I'll best move Maybe along. I'll keep right here. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my round directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray. Should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move.
Might I beg but a moment of your time? A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Might I beg but a moment of your time? This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. I fear I've much to attend to. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more hands to aid us. Someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Oh, oh someone help me. Medicine? Medicine! Me now! 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 I need it. I need it. I need more medicine! Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abessa's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I I know not what kind. At times I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none save the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, 
they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. What about this reeks of a plot? Let us gather evidence that we might expose it. Indeed, you are correct. The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. Mayhap it would serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. True enough. Let me get that. Say, have I seen you around? Elena? Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself, but I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there, and once I saw her the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up, and he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? T'was in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. Do be quick, I fear my time is in short supply. Is it true you're the Arisen? That's what I've heard, anyhow. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the Arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. The Arisen takes the crowd here in vermin, after all. The fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll learn the people's faith. <laughs> Good luck to you. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Suppose tis only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Oh, 
haven't got it. I won't have enough for a few pinches of spices. Maybe I'll make myself scarce. This place gives me an ill feeling. My bed calls, and I shan't resist. I shall gladly aid you if it is within my power. So so Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I near end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. Lord Phasus. Tis a name of great import. Of that I am certain. I know not what to make of this. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. Ah, it's you again. What are you doing now? Make waste, as they say. Sure. I shall gladly aid you if it is within my power. You looking to enlist? I'll give you my post. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Might you be looking to enlist? Shall we get some rest then? <laughs> 